Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Tamalore Akin Kolia and these are the stories we're following at the moment. For following to provide details of the project executed or being executed with the $5 billion returned Abacha loot, a federal high court sitting in Abuja has ordered the administration of former President Olusha Gwambasojo, late Umar Musaya Radura, Gulob Jonathan, and Muhammad Buhari to account for the funds. The court also ordered the government of President Bola Tinobu to disclose the exact amount of money stolen by the former head of state, late General Sani Abacha, total amount of Abacha's loot recovered, and all agreements signed on the same, on same by the government of former President Obasojo, Yaradura, Jonathan, and Buhari. And goods and properties estimated at billions of naira have been destroyed during a fire outbreak at the power line section of Ari Area International Market Aba, the commercial hub of Abia State. The power line zone is where mechanical parts, raw materials, shoemaking equipment, and allied appliances are being sold. The state fire controller, Nana Arua, who confirmed the inc incident, said over 30 shops are raised in the fire outbreak attributed to an erratic power supply. And in politics, the All Progressive Congress has postponed this National Caucus and National Executive Committee next meeting by one week. The meetings, which were initially scheduled to hold on July the 10th and 11th, will now take place on July 18th and 19th. In a statement, National Secretary of the APC, Iyola Omishore, said the meeting was postponed because of the sh the shadow of President Bola Tinobu, who has just been elected as the chairman of the Economic Community of West African State ECOWAS. And the National Association of Academic Technologies has expressed concerns over the recent 200% increase in fees in federal universities, saying that it may lead to students dropping out of schools. These, among others, were contained in a statement issued by NAT President Ibeju Uwo Koma at the end of the 52nd National Executive Council meeting. The association also kinked against the dissolution of universities' governor boards and asked the federal government to reinstate the dissolved Boards. And on Global Sin, six people, including three children, have been killed in a kindergarten stabbing in China's southeastern Wundun province. Police say the suspect, a 25 year old male, has been arrested in what was an inten intentional assault. The other victims are a teacher and two parents. The attack happened on Monday just as parents were dropping their children off for summer classes. And in sport, Nigeria has won the 2023 Africa Under-21 Nations Women Volleyball Championship Zone 3 in the Army, Niger Republic. Nigeria defeated Ghana in the finals on Sunday night to clinch the title. Speaking after the match, coach Rakia Mohamed thanked God for the victory, revealing that this is the first time Nigeria is clinching the trophy at the underage game level. And that's it on the newsroom at the moment. Do join us for more updates. Bye for now.